and Judges Heisner and Judges Heisner and Lammers have finished their selections on the exhibitors heard. Judge, take it away. Well, three really nice groups out here for your exhibitors heard. The group we're starting with up here uh, just won the best three females, added a couple other heifers in here that were in the mix with our, our first prize spring calf and our uh, second prize spring yearling. Beautiful, stylish heifers. A little closer here between second and third, I give the second place group the advantage. We've got one extra cow in maturity there, plus our intermediate champion gives them a little more power over our group out in third. Congratulations. So the results for our exhibitors heard class for the Guernsey Show. In third place, it was Beth Ann Clark of New Paris, Pennsylvania. Second place was Alyssa and Kate Noodleman, Bangor, Wisconsin. And our exhibitors heard winner, Landon Knapp, Epworth, Iowa. Congratulations. Up next for the Guernsey Show, we have the produce of dam class. This consists of two animals any age, the produce of one cow. The dam must be named. Animals need not be owned by the same exhibitor. Our first place award is presented by Guernsey Marketing Services, Columbus, Ohio. In the International Red and White Show ring, Judge Ryan has completed his placings in the five-year-old cow class. Second place junior in the class is entry 1959, Roki Benfer R. Cutie Red, exhibited by Royce and Reagan Demmer of Peosta, Iowa. Third in the class, and our first place junior is entry 1956, Milk Source Destry Tammy Red, exhibited by Grady and Lane Wendorf of Exonia, Wisconsin. Placing second in the class and also winning the Bread and Owned Award is entry 1952. Crazy Four contender Dasha Red, exhibited by Kenny Capini of Tillamook, Oregon. And winning the class, and also the Best Utter Award and the Production Award, is entry 1955. L. Maples Havesda Cali Red, exhibited by Bud John Farms and Peter and Lynn Vale of Lomira, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Judge Ryan, your comments. Just an excellent group of cows here in your five year old class, and with that being said, Certainly a powerhouse to lead out the class. A cow that comes in, she overwhelms you once again with her frame, her length and stretch from end to end. A cow with that frame still moves exceptionally well, and you get behind her, she's got that rear udder that blows you away. You love the height and width at the top of the rear udder today, and that's what gives the advantage over the cow here in second. Certainly the second cow, when she handles, she's awfully breathtaking in her own right. She's got a beautiful udder. She's a high-style cow. And for us today, she's just a wee bit high, harder across the top line today, but certainly this cow here in third, she's all quality. I love the dariness, the angularity that she has, a cow that wears a beautiful udder. And for us today, we move her up. She's just, like I said, a little cleaner all the way through, a little more angular than the cow here that follows in fourth. You get out on the side of her, she has so much more spring and openness to both the fore and rear rib. Our fourth cow today has the advantage the places are over the fifth cow today, just showing a little bit more quality up through her rear quarters today when you get viewed from behind. She's just a little bit more sharper over the hips, pins, and thurls, but certainly this cow here in fifth, another high style cow. And she has the advantage of having just blends so much nicer from neck to shoulder, shoulder to barrel, and she's a bit fuller in the crops today than the extreme dairy angular cow that follows along here in sixth. Congratulations, an outstanding group of cows here in your five-year-old class. <laughs> 